what's up everyone right here i got my cousin uh edwin um uh, what's up edwin how you doing man doing good man uh thanks for having me here you know it's, i know we had talked about doing it uh before but you know how it is sometimes yeah dude i mean things happen bro i mean i've been there many times bro especially when you got sure. kids right oh, man. you know you're a dad and you, you want to do sure. certain things and then you you got an appointment yep. you know you got to do something Lens here and change there. <laughs> and stuff like that but you know though i think those are uh good problems though you know i think uh, we all understand you know that those are duties that as a you know as a family man you got to do sometimes yeah but yeah thanks for having me here yeah man um so i did want to ask you about uh your your job right now i know you you've been doing construction for a while but you mentioned to me you know when you came over we had a good conversation um and it really got me to understand you more and, and where you're coming from um but you said you have your own business right now yeah so i was blessed you know with having the opportunity of of getting my my contractor license you know with the with the state um i ended up getting my b in 2021 so right when the whole coronavirus thing was going on um i was working you know for other contractors and and you know learning the trades too you know trying to do it on my own little little side jobs here and there and i had another kid so that was my third kid and i was like yo this is you know it hit me you know like damn that's another mouth to feed and you know like i'm, I'm i don't really have anything going on for myself you know other than the fact that i can work for somebody else right so so i know um whoever i was it uh uh the, they blessed us with the stimulus check you know so you know i i didn't stop working like uh through the through the rona i took a week off because when my kid was actually born like february around there so it was like shut it down shut it down the next week or whatever so I had a newborn. And so you had a newborn before COVID hit? Like like a week or two before. Wow, dude. I had no idea that happened. We had a, we went to the <laughs> hospital and they were like, have you guys been out of the country? But they were all like, like you know, with the mask and everything. And we're like, nah, like obviously she's about to give birth. You know what we'll be doing in, in China? You know, oh, okay, all right. Well, you know what? We're just going to, you know, keep it, keep it, um you know, this thing and, and this and that. So when we ended up going home, you know, a week, two weeks, and uh, the contractor that I was working for was like, hey, uh, I don't know if you've been listening to the news, but they, they want to shut it down and this and that. So I'm like, all right, cool. Like, take a week off. I, I got a newborn. Like, I'll be home, you know, with, with my with my newborn, you know, help out around the, around the house. And then the second week came along. And he's like, hey, you know what? We're going to take another week off. I'm like, bro, you can take all the time you want. I'm I'm going to look for work. <laughs> you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm not staying at home, you know? <laughs> and I was, I, you know, I got the phone call, you know? I, I, I started, you know, trying to, hey, I'm available, you know, anybody need work? And I get that phone call like, hey, so the job is going to be tomorrow. Be there at this time. And got the address. And it was like in L.A. It was out there, like kind of like to the valley, you know, all uh -huh. the way up the, the 405. Okay. And so, you know, I'm like, all right, I'm going to go do my duties. You know, I jumped in the truck, whatever, threw some gas on there. And um, I'm driving up the 405 and, and bro, it's like, if I counted 50 cars, I counted too many. It was dead, bro. Like, one car maybe there, like, maybe one car over there, one car driving on the other direction. And it hit me. I was driving, like, up Culver City, and I'm like, yo, maybe I shouldn't be out here. <laughs> this is like like uh the walking dead or something you know like i i got that Man. vibe you know and I, yeah. I and you know i i had a, smoked a little weed so i'm like oh shit maybe i'm i'm fucking up you know i got right. got my family at home and i'm over here risking it all you know for for to do a carpentry job you know mm -hmm. but you know i made it and 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 the, you know we had a conversation with the guys there and and i think at the time la county had already been shut down like a week prior to orange county okay so it was new to me it was new to me but to them they were they had already been through it they already had like a letter saying that you know we're we're uh essential or, or whatever you know but all the stores were like mostly closed you know you couldn't really get food out there everything was like 
Yeah, Nobody trusted I mean, anybody. Especially, I remember, I mean, it was not only toilet paper, but I remember the baby <laughs> formula, bro. Right. Remember right. the baby formula? Yeah, people yeah were that was becoming down. Uh, very expensive. People were actually selling that, like, if it was resetting drugs, it. Bro. Oh, Offer Up was blowing up with the. Bro, with the like, I remember, uh, remember the brothers that were selling sanitizer and they got caught? They had, was like, it, they had the fake one? No, it was real sanitizer, oh, okay. but. Uh, no they they basically bought it all out and they decided to sell it and they... oh that's right i do remember that <laughs> they ended up getting a like the, the city or the the county was like hey you can't do that yeah you're, they you're... got involved in it um but it was <laughs> like crazy it was crazy times bro i mean it almost seemed i mean i'm not gonna say like a zombie apocalypse but it got pretty close to the point where i mean I know some people sure. that bought guns, bro. They never yeah. purchased a gun before and, and they, they decided to up, buy yeah. one because they were like, you know what? If shit hits the fan, they're fucking ready for sure. because they're coming for our, our our freedom, you know? Yeah. Um, I know the lines were huge. Like you would see the lines at uh Ammo Bros or whatever, and they'd be like out the roof or or out the, you know, out the corner, and you'd be like, Wow, like what's really going on? You right, know? right, right, right. Something you guys are not telling me, you know, <laughs> like what's going on? Yeah, yeah, but wow. uh, more about your job. I mean, um, like, was this something that you, because I know uh, your dad, you know, he's done right, construction. Right. Um, was this something that, you know, you've always enjoyed doing or this was something that you knew how to do and you were just mm. like, I'm going to use my knowledge right, and right. I'm going to see how far I can go with this because yeah. I already have a head start yep. because I've, you know, I've learned from my dad. For sure. And, um, like, what I it, think that was one of the, I mean, it wasn't like I woke up and I was like, I'm going to be a carpenter. You know, it was like right, already right. like, okay, what are my options? You're, you you want to go to school or you want to start getting paid uh, uh, on the spot, cash in hand, you know, every, every Friday or whatever. Or, or do you want to go and invest eight, nine, ten, whatever months or years into try to get a degree for something that you might not even land a job? Cause I was doing job interviews, you know, 15, 16, trying to get a little bus boy job or at a, at a restaurant or something, you know? So they're interviewing like, what? okay, you're, you're young. Do you go to school? Like what? So you have to know like, Oh, but I had experience doing this or I, I wash cars on the weekend or something, you know, mm -hmm. they, they want to know that you're, you're willing to learn and, and, and to work. So when, um, you know, I had like the little odd jobs working at supermarket. I know through high school, I was doing the, the 40 hour work week and, and going to school, you know? Yeah. Um, so that kind of molded me into being like, okay, I can do, I can do 40 here. I can go do 40 there and maybe make a little more mm -hmm. not knowing that it's the summer and it's, it's hot. It's fucking, you know, it's oh, not, yeah. it's not all fun in games, you know, like you're out there with grown men, you know, dealing with that too. You it, know, it, I mean, it, sometimes it could be just straight up labor. Oh man. It was, I was at the bottom, you know, so I'm, I'm we're framing, uh, we're out at Newport Coast. Mm -hmm. We're framing out in Newport Coast, these big ass houses, and it's just like two by four or two by six, 10 footer or a 12 footer. Like that's all, you know, maybe a hammer here or there, you know, but it was like in, in there's a, there, there's a, a spot for everybody on the team and everybody has one task, you know, it's not like everybody does everything. One guy cuts, one guy stacks, and one guy nails. And then we all rise the walls you up. work That's as a frame, team. As right? a team. Yeah. So that helped me kind of get into, okay, I have to know my position. You know, I, I obviously I got a long ways to go. And um, I was working with my pops and, and I think like one of my uncles. And um, it was cool up until we finished the houses, you know, three or four months later. Like, okay, guys, you guys, you know, that's it. You know, go look for some a job somewhere else. And and as a framer, they're used to that. Okay. So I ended up getting um well my my dad was was paying me, you know, he was the one, you know, I'm keeping this and this is this is what you made, you know, for yeah. For, I was still living at the house and stuff. Mm -hmm. So so I'm like, okay, and and um you know I, I was a kid, you know, so it, it was enough for me to to go out with my friends or whatever and 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 um you know have fun. But then recession hit. That was 2007, 2008. So now there's we're not finding work. I remember that because it was right after was I graduated tough. high school. Right. That's when my uh, my pops, he bought that ranch. 
and oh, okay. Lake Paris. Okay. Um, my younger brother was still in school, so you know he got to stay here in Costa right, Mesa, still going to Estancia. Yeah, and I went to Riverside. You know, at the time when you don't have a car over there, it oh, sucks, man. bro. You know, there, idiot. there's just everything's just so far away. Maybe everything is more developed. Um, yeah, I think I think now it is a lot more developed for sure. Yeah, but back then it wasn't, and and back then it wasn't as pop populated you know back then right. there wasn't as much people there's probably double or triple now yeah you know it, the population really grew so you spent some time out there and then you came back to school didn't you um no i didn't come you, back to school because you graduated um i graduated in 2007 but you graduated here and Newport, uh, yeah. Mesa, right? Didn't we graduate no, together? We back Bay, bro. Yeah, so we graduated together. Yeah, so I'm trying to say, okay, so you ended up did coming back. Yeah. Matter of fact, uh, I ended up going back to Back Bay not too okay. long ago. I got a story about that. Yeah. For So it was cool because I went back with something totally, di- like something totally different than maybe what, uh, what was expected for me to go back. I, I have my, my, like I said, my business, my company. So I was like, I gotta, I gotta market, I gotta brand it. So I, I hired somebody that, that um, you know, locally, also that we went to school with. Um, mm-hmm. you know, uh, I try to, I try to source people that I know or that I've known, to be like, okay, you're a, you design, I need a design. Let me hire you, and you know, if you need a builder, I'll help you out. You know, that's the kind of relationships I like to build. So he made me the logo, and now it's like I gotta make shirts, gotta make a hat. Gotta, you know, make a sticker, yeah. maybe put it on the email or stuff like that. So um, I posted on the app, on the neighbor app, like, hey, neighbors, anybody do uh, screen printing? Uh-huh. And some lady was like, Back Bay High School. I went there. Like, they don't do that there. You we know? both went there, like, come bro. On. Like, they, <laughs> they don't do printing there. Like, that's a school. And uh, she's like, no, hit this guy up. And I ended up hitting Kovac. I don't remember that teacher, Kovac. That was like his no. first year there. Once you see him, you'll recognize him. I'm sure. What, what kind of teacher was he? <clears throat> He's a history, I think. Okay. I remember the art teacher. Lamar. You the art Lamar? teacher is actually responsible for making me Man. graduate. He was probably one of I was, my favorite teachers. I was down about 22, 30 credits. Wow. And he told me, because you always come to class yeah. and sit by yourself and you're listening to music and you're working and on something. And make some art. I'm going to pass you. Yep. You would uh, you would take like a piece of, let's say it took you two, three days or whatever to do a little, a little paste, piece of paper yeah. art. He, he knew who was working. He wasn't, a, he wasn't stupid. Right. Like, no, not he, at all. I mean, he allowed people to, you know, do whatever they wanted, but there was those people that actually did their art. Yep. Um, that which, actually wanted to act, uh, yeah. graduate, you know. Um, but uh, go ahead with the story. I mean, you For said sure. that. So it was someone from uh, Back Bay. You so saw? I went back. So I hit him up like, hey, um, somebody told me you guys make shirts. You guys print shirts. I have the shirts. I have the logo. I just need somebody to print them. Oh, yeah. Come on down. And then I'm like, oh, like it's real. You know, you guys really do. Yeah, we have a program now at the school, you know, that it, they, they partnered up with the lab. And and I'm like, oh, OK. So I actually went there. I told him and he's like, oh, really? What year? And I told him he goes. Ah, oh, you know, maybe I remember you, maybe not, you know, but come on down. And and I went over there, you know, and I was thinking like, like sh- come on down, yeah, yeah. He goes, come on back <laughs> down, you know. And I was like, yo, this is like, obviously, like I had I had a, I graduated from there. So I have a good experience there, you know, like, yeah, they, they, it was like actually one of those schools where they're actually, you know, they're realistic. You know, uh-huh. they know that you're not like just a sheep and you're going to go do exactly like you might be having well, that bad day and you don't want to do the work or whatever you know yeah. so so they're like reasonable in that aspect like supportive and 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 stuff like that so i had a really good um you know vibes it was just weird going back like what, what was what how, how long ago was this though like what year was this no this was like um this was recent like maybe in there were still in class obviously <laughs> <laughs> um this was like in may or april so this year in may this last year so you, you last went you actually went to bay like back bay in, school back bay high i walked into <laughs> the spider lab which is the computer class which i had Bro, my first period like, 
And I remember walking <laughs> in that motherfucker bake every single day. You remember. Bro, we like, walk- I remember fucking going to school with you, dude. That's like, what I'm saying. We, I mean, you must have had some flashbacks. Bro, I, mean, like- I, I was nervous. I saw Liam. I saw the security guard. Oh, my God. He's still there, bro? He's still there. So I didn't get a chance to I talk to him. I remember that guy. Just because there was a cop on scene and somebody was getting rolled. And I was like, some things will never change. You know, like, what are the fucking odds? Me coming into my old high school and, like, seeing the cops rolling somebody out. You know, like, it's like, I guess some things will never change, you know? Yeah, I mean. It, that was a trip. High school is tough, dude. And and it's scary because sometimes it happens even younger, you know? Mm-hmm. You see 13-year-olds, 15-year-olds. Yeah. I mean, 14-year-olds. For sure. Um, but, yeah, I mean, as far as I remember, I mean, there's always going to be bad apples out yeah, there. I sure. mean, it doesn't mean they're going to be bad all their time. I mean, sometimes, you know, there's some late bloomers out there, you know? For sure. Um, it's like everything. You know, people make mistakes. They they learn. Some of them don't. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's part of life. And, yep. and that, that's crazy, dude. I did not Bro. know that. And, and that's where you got your logo from, you're saying? So I got, yeah, so I got, I had the shirts. Because, I you know, I've, I've always tried to, you know, um, think outside the box you know even if, if okay a lot of my ideas i don't do them you know as as you know as i think i'm gonna do them but i at least try to implement it you know like you try to have some kind of plan something you know i at first it's a thought and then it's an action and then it's you know then you're doing it and then next thing you know you're like fuck i should have done it before you know like <laughs> but it's just yeah. like procrastination and and you know all this all these other things going on that it, it's right. tough you know to really like say follow your dreams or your your thoughts you know yeah so um i bought the shirts i'm i'm you know i'm for for my company you know construction i gotta advertise i gotta look professional i have to I have to have a brand you know i have to have uh, something that people can can look at and be like oh that's that's my builder right you know like 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 uh you know like every other brand so i did a cool little little design you know that i think fits my my uh my trade right and I took it over there with like two dozen shirts and I told them how much. And they were like, well, you have options and come down, meet meet the class. And I'm like, yo, this used to be the computer lab. And they're like, oh, yeah, we <laughs> took the computer lab out. And I remember going in there like first period, obviously, yeah. and just like putting the headphones on, throwing the, the iTunes Dude, on I, there. I remember that class now. We played that game. It was um, it wasn't like a call. It was like a like a like a. Call of Duty, but obviously before, you know, it was like yeah. we would do like the capture the flag, but it'd be like three on three mm-hmm. and we'd be like running through it and, <laughs> and, you know, doing the stuff. And that was like, whoa, this is this is this is school, you know, like I got to be here to graduate. Like, it's, it's yeah, cake. you know, this yeah. compared to, you know, other high school where you're 30 kids in one class. And it, it's yeah, it totally was different. definitely it was definitely different for Way sure. Different. Uh, for me. At the end of Estancia, dude, I was ditching like almost all the time. Bro. It's like you don't even want to be there. They, they, well, they told me at the end is like you have either you go to Back Bay or not going to graduate. Uh, I ended up going to right. Back Bay, but um, I mean to tell you the truth, at first, like I felt like, like I was like, man, did I fuck up? Because like it was too easy. I'm over here. Yeah. Well, it felt too easy. Um, it, it was. <laughs> Yeah, like I almost felt Super like easy. like well, I want to learn something, <laughs> right? Well, but at the same time, it, it wasn't really like that. There were some good teachers there. Oh, for sure. Um, for sure. But uh, you know what? I I can't complain, man. I'm I graduated, graduated. you know, graduated, dude. And you and beat the odds nowadays. You know, if you yeah. don't have your GED, it's like having That's a job. Nice. You know, it's difficult, bro. Right, right. It, it yeah. Um, but. Okay, you mentioned, you know, you made your logo, but um, as far as your company, so what exactly does your company do? Okay, so I'm a general contractor, so I'm allowed to do, you know, let's say 70% of any building, you know? Okay. Uh, I have to do at least two trades. And obviously, I'm a, I'm a framer. I'm a rough carpenter by, by trade, but because I grew up on the job site. Like, I, I remember being... Before I even went to school, I was out there with my dad because my mom was at work and, you know, I'm I'm with the guys and I'm sleeping in the in the van, you know, up until whatever, 10 a.m. It's yeah. lunchtime. And then, right. I, hey, what's up? You know, like it's <laughs> me, you know, little kid on there. And I, I have like good, good memories, you know, of 
everybody smiling at me and, <laughs> and high fiving me because I'm that yeah. I'm that kid at the job site, fucking you know, picking up scrap or whatever it is that they had me doing, you know, to keep me busy. The lunch ladies or the the ladies in the lunch trucks would all, hey baby, hey, grab whatever you want, candy, you know, like like the you know, yeah, sure, you know, okay, gracias, you know, like boom, the 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 lift driver. Hey, come on. You ever been on the lift? Boom. And I'm like sitting right there on the side and he's like rocking it back and forth. And I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? You know, like, 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 oh, this is fun. You know? So uh, did everybody know your dad? I mean, or was this something? Or no. this? It oh. was just like we it, it's like um, it's like when they see a kid, it brought them joy. Exactly. Or they're like, what's this kid doing here? Okay. I think so, it was more so like it that. It was more like this kid's interested. Like, and so we want to like. You know, make it fun for Yeah, him. exactly. Like, and um, a lot of the job sites, construction is like that. It's like, yeah, it's serious work. It's hard work. Okay. But it's like, you know, you got to have that camarad- camaraderie, you know, like, okay. la carrilla, you know, you, yeah. you, you don't know that guy, but you might crack a joke to him and he might frown or he might just return it yeah, to you. Yeah, you kind of like break the ice. Break the know? ice. And then next thing you know, you guys are fucking sharing the yeah, taco. Yeah, kind of like t- testing you, like what exactly, kind of person you're at. You exactly. Know? Like seeing like, like obviously there's a lot going on, responsibility and stuff like that. And then there's this kid there. It's like, <laughs> what are you doing here? And honestly, I don't remember a lot of like the conversations because I, I, I don't even think I knew, I really knew English at the time, you know, because I'm obviously my parents only taught me Spanish up until I went to kindergarten or whatever, you know. OK, so I don't remember. Oh, the, wow. So you're really young. Yeah, wow. dude. We used to live like I, on, like on Maple, you know, so it was like 91, 92. Yeah. Know? I mean, I thought you were talking when you were maybe like what, like seven, maybe nine years old. Oh, that that too, you know, but it started but changing was, but a lot. But you actually remember. I, was, I remember the van. I remember wow, like. Wow, dude, that, that, busting my that's head a lot open. of memory. Really? Yeah. You busted your head open. Wow. I busted my head open with a hammer, trying to trying to be all macho, you know, trying to lift up a hammer, and it was too heavy. <laughs> Bolas, you know? Damn, like, and that was know? the sign right there. And, like, I think that was like, <laughs> don't be stupid. You know, like, that shit's heavy. You know, it's a framing hammer. It's like 23 ounces for a kid. Like, yeah, I mean, know? I mean, they say like when you're young like that, even like uh, like, you know, like new, not newborns, but maybe like toddlers, Toddler. they explore. Right. So they, they do things. And you, dude, I mean, I have a nephew, bro, that he swallowed a marble, you know, and it's like they're curious. Right. Bro. And they don't know. They don't you know. know. They don't know. Um, they and then they, they eventually games. know. And then they're like, whoa, that's not cool. <laughs> Don't do that. You know, I think that's what happened to me, you know, because I remember feeling the the blood coming down and I locked myself in the bathroom. So I, oh my I, God. I hit I myself did not know this. and I, I ran like I, I I thought I was dying. You know, you see the blood, you know, you, you feel the the, yeah. you know, the heat or whatever. Yeah. You felt the pain and I ran and and they were like, what happened? What happened? And I'm like, leave me alone or whatever. You know, like I'm I'm looking in the mirror like. Damn, you were know, you afraid of getting in trouble though? Like both. you thought you everything, you know? Yeah, everything. I, I could see yeah, that, man. Everything. Like your 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 dad or your mom, they're gonna be like, What the hell were you thinking? Bam, you know? It's like, you know? We, yeah. And they weren't home. So oh, it shit. was like one of those so I was like I for sure I wasn't in school already, you know. So yeah. Um it was a kind of like you're staying with whoever you're staying and you know, good luck kind of shit. And, wow. And uh and I never forget it. You know, I, I I even I still feel the the hammer just dropping on me. You know, on with the with the the sharp side. You know. Yeah. So that was that was one of my first. Don't be an idiot. Kind of. You know, if it's too heavy, maybe you shouldn't be lifting it. You know. Right. Right. And then it just. You know, like I said, then you're seven, eight, and your summer vacation is spent at the job site. So now you're walking around picking up spray cans and and you know picking up scattered tools that people forget or whatever you know and you're you're learning then you get to that age to where like okay you're old enough to carry wood you're here run it you know yeah and i hated it like it's everybody's at summer vacation everybody's at the pool everybody's on the street like and i'm like fuck like I'm building houses for people I don't even know, you know? Like, I mean, 
at least you were building houses, bro. Yeah. I mean, my dad, you know, I have full respect for my dad. Uh, he has his own landscape company. Sure. Um, he's done demolition, a yeah, hardscape. There's a lot of stuff. Um, you know, I've done demolition with him. I learned how to do brick walls, you know, how nice. to tear, you know, driveways, how to, you know, set up Retain the rebar, me. all that yeah. shit. Um, landscape gardening. I, you know, I told my dad I love that shit, um, but I just don't like doing it for other people. Right. You know, and, and my dad, I it's mean. It's not fulfilling, huh? Well, it's fulfilling when you do it for yourself. For sure. Well, I love uh, plants I mean. and, and growing crops mm -hmm. and, and growing tomatoes. Like, I love fruit, vegetables, all that stuff. I think that shit's awesome. And it's one of the 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 things that, you know, we don't really do on our own as much anymore. Like, I know Asians do it a lot. You know, they're always they growing it. their own vegetables they and stuff. It. But it's like now we rely, you know, on on farms and the grocery store. But stuff like that, you know, we grow on our own. It's even that, better, dude. That's it's that's organic. So natural. And you kind of take pride in that, right? For sure. I mean, what? Dude, like your dad more? fucking grows what? Cucumber? Uh, chayotes, chayotes. Oh, corn, dude, I'm, caña, I'm fucking jealous. Uh, I'm jealous of that shit, dude. And it's like therapy for him. You're, dude. That's the way I feel, it. bro. Like it. it was like okay, like here I live, you know, on the second floor. Mm -hmm. Um, if I had a backyard, dude, I would probably spend my time in the backyard growing stuff in the afternoon. It's just like it's in the morning. You're just in tune with like with Earth, with Earth, bro. With with you know um. It's you're seeing life, yeah, progress. It's like you know, like a baby kind of thing, right? You know, they're yeah, see it so from a clone or from a, a sprout, from whatever it is, to a mature plant, and it's like, whoa, you did that, you did that, and now yeah. you gotta chop it up and throw it on the grill, and There's it and it's like you basically you were able to freaking make yourself, you know, survive. Yeah. And, and be sufficient, you know, because you could throw a seed on there, piss on it and then walk away in two weeks and dang and be shit. You got to mm. be there consistently. Right. Check it. You know, what? when do you water it? Is it too hot to water it? Is it too, yeah. Too and, and, and like you were saying, you know, like you had tasks to do it, you know, when you were doing construction as a kid, like for me, when we used to do, we used to break the, the the dry the what's it called the driveways, driveways. the driveways oh, and the brick walls um we had a dump where we put a ramp and it was literally oh, like God. maybe two little pieces of two wood by that, yeah two two by fours put together and i had a that, fucking that big bend. wheelbarrow dude and i was pretty young fucking fill that shit up to the top bro and and you have to go full force and you can't you can't slow if down. you slow down you're falling back. <laughs> you're falling back or you're tilting that shit over. And um, I remember as a kid, you know, the same thing, bro. Um, my friends would invite me to go do things during summer and my summer was just working. And yeah. even my That's pops, it. like right now, he, he makes jokes. He's like, he's like, yeah, you know, it's a good thing you guys learn yeah. because you wanted to learn. And I told my like, dad, pues a huevo, cabrón. <laughs> like, I told him, like, dude, now that you're forced, bro. Yeah, like, shit. <laughs> you know, you but, but, but you know what? He, uh, somehow he is right because yeah. I learned shit that, For sure. that I use till this day. Yep. Even stuff about cars. And that's what it's about. Because you might have, let's say you guys were riding around and the truck broke down. You might have learned to fix an issue there. You right. might have learned to change a tire there. You might have learned or even to, figure out what's wrong with it. To, to flag down or to divert traffic yeah, because you dude. guys are on the third fucking lane, and of you course. know, like you learn, you learn all these, uh, uh, I guess, like tactics to survive in in the real world. Yeah, while your friends are out there, water balloon fights, and you know, Seven Elevens and all that stuff. Like you're out there living life. You know, right? Like, yeah get a little advantage i guess yeah you you, know? you get an advantage and then you i mean for me i eventually saw that some of these things that i still use you know especially cars you know i do my own right. oil change right i know how to do my own brake nice. pads you know yeah. and i remember my dad he used to tell me like hey come over here hey, hold the hold flashlight yeah. <laughs> hold like, the flashlight no. <laughs> and then he's like hold this and then it's like fucking like what 30 pounds heavy True. and and you're trying to fucking hold right. it for like what 10 minutes and he's while, looking for the fucking for the tools. <laughs> all while the he's time, over there bro. Getting a beer. All, like, all the time, shit. bro. But see, those are those are things that a school can't teach you. Yeah. Well, I mean, they can, but not in that situation to where like it's like 
up close and personal, you know, with, yeah. with your pops teaching you this thing that you're never going to forget. Yeah. Because he's, he's the one teaching it. Of to course. You, you know? Yeah. And that's, that's great. You know? Uh-huh. Because I, I worked with your pops too, and he taught me, you know, a lot of the, the landscaping, you know, I helped him out for a little bit. Yeah. And he did. I think the way I, I ended up helping him, he was, uh, he needed a carpenter to do some baseboard. So he went to the house looking for my dad, and I'm like, I'm not Mexico. And he's like, oh, es que tengo, puse un piso. I think he did some tile. And he, yeah. went in, he needed some baseboard. And I was like, well, I can do baseboard. And he's like, <laughs> your fucking light just yeah. bing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, I'm not working. I'm not working, and I can do baseboard, you yeah. know? And he's like, like, he, 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 obviously, he was like, I don't think so, you know? <laughs> I'm like, no, sí, and like this. Yeah, and I, I already can see it. It's seguro. And he seguro? was like, pero si puedes, huh? Uh, pero seguro, like three I times. Pops, like three times. And, um, <laughs> you know, I, I did have experience doing it, not like on my own, but I always worked for somebody else and, you know, hold it here, cut it there. So I was like, you know, or you, you, you kind of know, you know, and, but you need somebody kind of to, to help you out. Let's do it. All right. Vengo por ti mañana. Say less. We did that. We did another one. We did another one. Next thing you know, I'm helping him out all week, you know, and um, I, I, I ran into you too when, when you were living there. Like, oh, yeah. what are you doing? I'm waiting for your pops. We're going to go. We're going to go cut a bugambilia or something, you know? We, we got a task today, yeah. you know? And I was so, at that point, I was so thankful, you know, to to even to do that, you know, to to go out there and tell the chingadazos because we, we would bust our asses, you know? We... You yeah, know, dude. When it, when it comes down to working with my pops, dude, I mean, he's not you work. Slacking. Yeah, he's not slacking, and not you work enough. hard. Um, he knows who's a good worker. For sure. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty a, sure he saw that in you. And he told me he's like, oh, you know, keep keep at it, keep yeah. at it. You want to learn this, la trimeadora. So I'm like, okay, I can I can do a little because I, at first I was like, he's got to do mostly everything because all I can do is carry stuff or cut grass. Let me get the weedle. That's how Let it me starts. Get the trimmer. Yeah. Let, and he just, you just do the blower kind of thing, you know? And it was like, we, we had a, a good understanding and man, right. We'd, we'd fly through the houses and we'd joke around and, you know, we'd, we'd, yeah, we'd, we'd have that, that com camaraderie right there, you know, it, mm -hmm. was, it was beautiful. Um, so when this was going on, um, was this, uh, this was when you, just got out of jail or was this no uh, so actually well i i had been uh so the first case i caught in 2009 was kind of like just the beginning of of getting in the system you know you get caught up okay catch a case right do your time mm -hmm. you're out on probation and you're fucking 21 years old so you're still messing around on the streets so you're you're gonna go back yeah you, like you play stupid well, games I mean, yeah you're gonna win super prizes right you know? right right and up until I, I decided like, hey, you know what? I, I I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna do good and I'm gonna I'm gonna have a game plan, but that game plan was not legit. You know, I had a game plan, but it wasn't a legit game plan. It was still like I still wanna be running around and trying to, you know, do my You're thing. You're trying to balance everything out, trying to make it all justify, work. Justify just justify it. It, it, almost like giving yourself the the, okay you're okay yeah yeah no, you'll be fine you'll be fine like, you've been you've been doing good yeah, like you've been you, doing you, good you, you, could, you only got caught twice come on man like <laughs> you'll be out soon it's you know? like you got your angel on one side yeah. you know your devil on the and other i've i've always and at thought the end of the that. day they're both arguing like no dude let's and i still do to some other shit you know like yeah it's, it's your conscience you know your exactly. conscience is really yep. it's really uh talking to you yeah when so situations you gotta, like that mm -hmm. and some people choose to ignore it dude that's it's, where it gets tough you it gets it. tough, man. Yeah, I when when, when you ignore tough. everything, I mean, from your conscience to people your giving you advice, your vibes, yeah. everything, it's tough. It can really take take your uh, like tear apart your your soul, your, your dude. mental freedom. I think yeah. you, you become a prisoner in your own, you know, right? In your own uh, uh, conscience, I guess. You know? mm -hmm. But uh, so yeah, so I I was in and out, you know, doing the the dumb stuff and and getting caught up. Obviously, I wasn't a good criminal, you know. I was getting caught and I was going to jail and I was trying to come out more more wiser and you know ed educating myself or trying to educate myself. I'm like shit, I'm already here. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm already getting the 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 fucking two meals a day or what uh, three meals a day. Like I'm not going anywhere, you know. Like, right. Okay. Let me make this, you know, uh let, let me get a, a better game plan of what I can do when I'm out there, you know, I'll talk to people, you know, a lot of, I met a lot of homies who had uh, businesses, you know, a lot of paisano businesses, like get into this, get into that, you know. And and just listening to people's stories was like, okay, like yeah, everybody's got their story now. I gotta make mine, you know. I have to, I have to feel mine, not just you know envision it. Like it's gotta come naturally, you know. And I was like, hard work, hard work, nothing else, just hard work, dedication, nothing else. Like nothing else should matter. Everything else should be extra, you know. You gotta find that what you're good at, and and maximize it, you know. Yeah. And I think working was that thing. You know, I can easily go into whether a supermarket or a construction site or, or, or a store, or whatever it was, and get the flow. Okay, boom, be productive. Make sure that your eight hours or whatever hours you came in, you're going to, it's productive, you know, feel satisfied, like a good workout kind of thing. Right. And, and that mindset, like I locked onto it. Like, so everything I did, I tried to do it, you know, to the best of my knowledge. You know? Yeah, and it's you feel that productivity, you know. Oh man, it, it's so rewarding. I mean, the 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 best feeling is that you know you spend the day and you feel like you didn't waste it. Yep. You know, you you go to sleep exactly. and you you go to sleep with knowing that you accomplished at least something. For sure, even whatever, one task. It, yeah, even one whatever task. it can be. I mean, it can be like you decided to exercise. You know, yep. you decided to you know do your oil change on your car. Right. You know, any right. little thing. And it was just a task that you wanted to For do, sure. but you get it done. You feel that that reward feeling. Oh, man. Man. Um, it's, it's one of the best feelings it's, ever. It's like a it's like an addiction, you know, because once you don't do it, then you feel like, oh, shit, I'm not doing it. And nobody wants to feel like that. Right. Hell no. Nah. It's like At least I don't. that feel of regret, bro. It's it like I mean, it's almost like, you know, there's opportunities or, or opportunities you've that have been presented in front of you, mm -hmm. whether it's a girl, a job, anything, anything right? What do you do? You about see it? it in front of you, but for some reason, you just decide to, nah, mm -hmm. I'm good. Not or today. I'm not good enough. Not today. Oh, or yeah. I'm not I'm good enough. Fail. Fail. You know, like you give yourself that, that idea and you just pass on that, that you uh, know, and they, it's like, they do it like, at, what um, could have been, bro? You know, <laughs> what, they'd be like, oh yeah, give it to the guy in the back. Or what did, well, at the Starbucks where they're like, oh, pay for the guy in the back or pass it along to the guy in the back. Like, right. No, dude, this is, it happens, things happen for a reason, you know? Yeah. Like, that your destiny is your destiny, whether you want to avoid it or not. Like, that's what you're meant to do. That's what you're going to do, you know? Yeah. That's how you should see, it, at least, at least I think. Yeah, and, and that's beautiful, man. I mean, if you can find something that you love doing um or or you know something that Enjoy makes you it. happy if you can find that ultimate happiness right. i mean that's just beautiful dude i mean and some people never find that you know and they might have millions of dollars yeah and that's why they say you know love i mean money will never buy love or will mm -hmm. never buy happiness or health or health well i you mean know? health you can probably go so far but yeah i mean I know I can buy beauty because you can go and get. I don't know about that, dude. With all that in. Botox, <laughs> I mean, they look they look good for for a while, you know, up until that for shit. For a while, until, until that shit, until it expires or what? <laughs> until it's time for your oil change, you know. <laughs> and you know, it, it changed, but to each its own, you know. It's 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 got to that point, yeah. You know, yeah. That was that was so dope growing up around that that era, you know, where where. You know, people were still buying the the tapes or the CDs and and you know, yeah. I mean, posters. I mean, what you when we were kids? I mean, well, that was roughly what the nineties, yeah, sure, uh, early two thousands, right? I oh, mean, I'm talking about like maybe like late nineties because I remember we would go over or I would go over to you guys' house and we were still in probably like uh, Wilson, you know. So we're elementary, you know, maybe nine, ten years old. Yeah, because when you guys moved over to the house on Wallace. Um, I like, was going on to fourth grade. Okay. Yeah, fourth grade is when I started so see, uh, around that time. Yeah, like ninety. Yeah, that that's when I started going to school with you guys. Yeah, with all the primos right there. <coughs> yeah, with the all primos. the primos. That's a trip. I'd be like, you guys are cousins. Like, all of you, like, yeah. <laughs> damn, like, 
a big ass family, you know, <laughs> five, six cousins in the same grade in the same yeah. class. It was like, they got there, you know? Yeah. So people knew it was like Los Primos or Los Primos because there was other people who had relatives right, in, right, in school right. too, you know, but we were just like five of us <clears> or something <throat> like that. It was like, wow. Yeah. I mean, I remember when we were growing up, dude, um, we, I mean, I was listening, I've always listened to rock music, but I remember you used to listen to rock music yeah, too. Bro. I still do. You still do? Yeah. Okay. Like, I, I mean, remember you had the, remember the Blink-182 album you had? Blink-182, you know, I did like the Limp Bizkit, the Linkin Park, you know? That the, was like that rock, rap rock era. Yeah. Alternative, I think they called it. You yeah. put me up on that. You're like, it's not rap. It's not rock. It's alternative. <laughs> and I was like. Did I really say that? Like, yeah. Like, you broke, like you broke it down to me like that. Because like I said, I, I wasn't like, I, I knew hip hop, but I didn't, I couldn't distinguish. Who's from the West Coast? Who's from the East Coast? Yeah. I, I didn't know that at the time. You know, right, it was just right. like, yo, these guys are dope. Outcasts, <laughs> where are they from? L.A.? And they're like, no, nah, dude, they're from fucking Atlanta. Yeah. And it's like, where the fuck's Atlanta? <laughs> you know, like, and, and they got a hip hop scene, you know? Right. Like, I, my mind was still so, I don't even think I had MTV it's yet. It's like when fucking know? Nelly came out. Fucking, there you go. Uh, was it Nelly, Ludacris? Um, yeah, like, like early that. 2000s. You know, yeah. like, and they were from other areas. Right. The Dirty South or I think the the Midwest or whatever. Yeah. And we're used to, like, the, obviously, like, the Death Rose, the Tupacs, the Easy es the, uh, I know you guys did a lot of, like, the Underground, like, the Dell, Tron, like. Yeah. And I would be like, yo, why are these guys on the radio? You know, <laughs> like, these guys are, are dope, you know, but little did I know that these guys were, I guess, like underground you know still kind of well i mean nowadays it's becoming bigger and bigger especially wu-tang clan for you know sure. becoming more for relevant sure. at one point you know they they were i mean wu-tang clan is they blew up but at one point you know they were sure. kind of underground not a lot of people right. knew about Maybe them. like uh early 90s huh yeah but with the the thing with deltron though you know del he's actually ice cube's cousin I heard something like that. I think Ice Cube talks talks about that. Yeah, so yeah. Ice Cube was trying to get uh, Dell to be in his label for the longest time. Or a uh, lynch mob. Or, uh, yeah, yeah lynch mob, and, right? and uh, I mean, as far as what I wow. know, I the Dell, uh, he wasn't about gangster music. He was just about the, the hip-hop. Hip-hop. You know, the art. The art. Yeah, yeah like, That's you know, KRS-One, you know. Oh, I love KRS-One. You know? Yeah, I mean, KRS-One, dude, the teacher, you know, you can't go wrong with that guy. You um, can rock but, a party anywhere you know yeah i mean and that's like hip-hop i mean that's the thing about music i mean it just expands in so many ways yeah. and and it's like it could be hip-hop rock you know even corridos everything maybe it's too. still like even punk music yeah. you know it expands to so many sub genres that right i mean at the end of the day personally i feel like it's all good man as long as uh, it I, sounds good and as good. long as you know they i think the person you know who knows music can distinguish what's good music and bad yeah. music you who's can, a good artist who's bad no matter what the genre right is, you know nope you can't i mean i can't say that i haven't heard of some country songs that i'm like yo this is dude johnny cash bro oh johnny i love cash. johnny cash you know <laughs> there's this uh there's this song honestly i don't even know who who sings it but i have it on my like one of my playlists right, I, heard, right. I heard somebody sing it one time yeah it was a. it was a. it was a a, a white boy and he was singing it, and we we're in the county jail. And uh, he sang this song that was like, como un corrido, you know, like it's called really? uh, "Please Don't Take the Girl," and okay. it's a it's a country song that talks about this this kid that his dad was gonna take him fishing, and um, you know, he's like, "Oh, we're gonna take uh, the neighbor's girl," and he's like, "Please don't take the girl, Dad. Anybody, take take Timmy and take every don't take the girl." I, he was a little kid. I don't want the girl to go. I want it to be us. So whatever, he got older and uh, he ended up, you know, dating the girl and they ended up getting robbed. And he told him, he told the guy, take my keys, take my credit card, but don't take the girl. You know, now, now the same saying changed, you know, like don't take the girl, uh, but not, not like, a, like a, the fishing trip, but like don't take her as and don't do nothing to her. Right. So then, uh, you know, the, the years pass by, there's a baby coming come in and um the doctor says hey it's either the baby or 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 the, the mom you know and the guy got down on his knees and he's like you know god don't take the girl you know take take me so the song is called don't take the girl but okay. it had such an impact on me like wow somebody 
put that into a song, I like I love it. Like it 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 just grasped me like it had nothing to do with me, you know? Like it was just the way the song but you was feel the power. I felt it and like, yeah. like it hit me in the chest and I was like, the guy sings sings like crap, but he sang that song because he you he can wanted feel, to get that you message can very, out. You can feel the meaning. I mean the, and, and the, uh, the message for that sure the message giving. like wow like yeah you're a kid and you think things you think you know everything don't take the girl i don't want her to go and then like damn really that's all i wanted was the girl to go with me you know kind of right, thing. right. after you know he grows up and stuff so. Oh, so you said that this was the person you met in jail um was this an actual song that the person wrote or no was he sang it so, oh, so, so who was the who was the artist who oh, sang that song? Man, Do you I, know? I, I I don't have it off the top of my head, but it is called "Don't Take the Girl," and it's a it's "Don't a, Take the Girl." Okay, it's called "Please Don't Take the Girl." I think, and uh, I've had like like uh, friends you know that are white that were coworkers, and yeah. I show them and be like, "Yeah, I know that song." To them, it's like if they told me, "Hey, have you heard La Puerta Negra by Los Tigres yeah. del Norte?" And yeah. I'm like, "Dude, like that's a theme song to my childhood right. or yeah. some shit," you know? It's like that's a classic, yeah, right? Like, like how come can you not hear? Yeah. Here, let me let me play it, you know? Right, <laughs> let me right, get right. My, my, right. my trumpet or whatever. Mm-hmm. But so so to them it's something like uh culturized too, you know, because the guy who was singing was was a, a, a white boy, you know. Yeah. And uh, he was like country. So he was singing, everybody was like singing, uh, there was a guy singing oldies, there was a guy singing a ranchera, un corrido, and this guy sang that song, and people gave him, you know, they gave him the 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 respect, you know, let him let him sing a song. Right. He sang it. And everybody was like, yo, that's dope. Like, so, um, so when you're saying he sang it, was this w- w- an open mic or? Yeah. W- so, so when you're in, um, this happens a lot in the county jail when you're on like, a, a cell living. Okay. You're, uh, like there's two tiers at the main jail in, in Santa Ana. Uh, yeah. Central jail. Mm-hmm. So there's a six, there's a six man cells. And then at the top tier, it's the four man cells, okay. which are a little smaller. So, um, Basically, all you have is a like a glass in front of your cell that you can see the top. So you can see the same people in your, I guess, in your section. But that that glass is a catwalk for the deputy to walk through and and look at the cells and make sure everybody's breathing and stuff like that. Yeah. So so you're looking at this reflection and it's the guy on the top tier singing, singing this song, you know. Oh, and I you're see. and you're, it's it's a Friday night, so there's no court the next day. There's no, you know, work or obviously there's no work at county jail. But you know, you're you have a late night. They call it a late night to where okay, fucking, you know, if you're gonna sing some songs, sing some songs. If you're gonna yell at your friend that's in cell number five to talk about how his visit went, then you're gonna that's no the time shit. to do. It. Yeah, so it's called a, it's called wow. a. a so anything go, anything goes. Pretty anything much. goes. You got to be respectful. <laughs> well, you, you know? got to be respectful, but pretty much you got like that little like freedom. It's you know? your time you, to you shine. may not be able to go out, but you not get to have some kind of uh, Saturday night, some kind Friday of freedom night. of expression, exactly. right? Exactly. Like, okay. fuck, I just got back from my my visit. My girl's about to go out with her friends. They're gonna go clubbing, and now here I go in with these motherfuckers back in my cell. I want to I want to enjoy a little something, you know, I'm I'm going through it. You're, you're like trying to make the best trying of trying to it. make the best out of the situation. And uh, it was a uh, there was this OG up there who, um, you know, we would I would sing like the corridos. You know, that was my thing, you know. Oh, so I, you actually I would sing the corridos. OK, hey, so it's been some Latina. Yeah. Eres pobre, te like, like, you know, sing a corrido. Or two yeah, that yeah. I know everybody's going to enjoy. You know that even if they don't like me, they're gonna be like, ah, "Fuck it, I, I heard him." But they know you're express expressing yourself. They know, you know that I'm letting it out there. You know, I want to show them a good time too. I want to let out my my I guess uh, you know my feelings too in a way. You know, obviously you're in jail. There's no no crying in jail. Who am I gonna go talk to? You know, so I go and I sing uh, a Vicente Fernandez song and let it all out and. You know, and and and, <laughs> and thanks, guys. You know, I'll be yeah. back. I'll be here all week. You know, <laughs> like you know, I'm that guy here. You know, it, right, and, right, and right. People were like, "Hey, um, so, so back to back to that same spot where we're at. So we have a cousin in in common. You know that that was doing time at the same in the same vicinity. Yeah, I I did hear that to um, where 
you know, I heard the rumors in the family. You yeah. know, you know how the you family know, goes. You, you know, know it's a, you it's hear a little world. things here and there, bro. And then you somebody's hear, like, who's in jail, and then you're like, you, oh, oh, how yeah, you like, yeah. Bro. Now they're best friends or something. Like, like now they're <laughs> they're bunking up together, kind yeah. of thing. You know, yeah. You, you keep hearing it exaggerated, exaggerated. <laughs> so. like, I heard they're planning an escape. <laughs> so, so you know what? I, I'm actually glad that I'm hearing it from you yeah, directly okay, because and yeah, I, I haven't really told the story because not a lot of people know him. You know, because obviously he's from from a different uh, son. He's from a different city, so we didn't like grow up too close to each other. But right, there's right. an age difference. But I remember I, I was in his sister's quinceanera. You know, so that's where I really got to interact with them, and um, and I recognized them. I seen them one day when we were at the at the yard call at the at the roof call where they have like a like a wreck, you know, and. I had heard the the last name when they do count, and I'm like, it's gotta be him. Like, how how many other people with that last name are there, dude? I, I mean, our last name is unique, bro. It's unique, you know. So you're not gonna hear that it, just anywhere, you know. I mean, you're gonna hear it, and then you hear the first name that adds up. I mean, you hear what? You hear Castellanos? You hear but Castillo? S, yeah. But Castellon? Not Castellon? You don't they hear that shit often. You hear that shit, and it's like, okay, you guys are related. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I mean that's the way you, I where see are you it. Coming from? Yeah, where, where's your family? Yeah, from? once you hear that name, I mean it's very rare. To a certain um, region. And and honestly, like I used to feel like I didn't like that name before because nobody had it. <clears throat> it's that and like people didn't know how to pronounce it. Mm. Especially white people, sure. you know. So but it was like, like on? <clears throat> Yeah. Like, like stuff like that. Yon. So like I kind of was like, but now you know what? I'm proud of my name, yeah, you yeah. know. They, yeah. and uh it's unique and i love it and yeah. uh it's, i mean it's culture it's your culture right you know what i mean it's something that they can't take away from you yeah you know it, it's something that ties you back to to a place i, I guess you could say far from here you know your origin really you know yeah you know where 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 stuff is still i guess the same you know a mm -hmm. lot of the stuff is still there you know coming from a, a, a smaller community you know right in in mexico and that's beautiful you know because now look look what you out here doing so much good stuff that it's like okay this is there's there's got to be a change somewhere and you are the change right right you know you're putting that that name out there like, <clears throat> yeah and um you know when it came to you know hearing you know our, our cousin's last yeah. name you know i mean the experience i mean you said you were you were in the yard so so the first i think it was in the morning because i got shipped i was already doing like a couple months and uh i got shipped to another jail because they ended up shutting down that that section at the tio lacy over there by uh the yeah. block the maxima so we're in the mods over there doing cell living and then they bring me back to the old jail which is like bars you know it's like <laughs> like like a jail you know right um, and over there, it was like a newer jail at Tio Lacey where they have really glass. You know, it's all maximum security. You have to go through 10 doors just to fucking so, say um, hi to somebody, you know? You were in the main jail, you said? The 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 old the central central men's jail, I guess. Okay, central men's jail. So you're saying Tio Lacey is a lot newer? Oh, yeah. it's. I think this Tio Lacey is probably like early 2000s, maybe late 90s. <clears throat> okay. Just because everything is like so much more cleaner nice not nicer but yeah i mean know? for me personally i mean uh, um i've been to tia lacy mm -hmm. not proud of it it's not a five star <laughs> i was only there like four days okay. it was not the big deal the barrack living huh uh <laughs> the barracks where you're but i got i got that experience of you know going through the loop oh that's the worst um you know you had to get naked like if i can take a shower got Off naked twice. got naked at five in the morning to go to court Break you down. You know, this is what happened to me, bro. Um, I got naked five in the morning to go to court. They didn't call my name. Oh, I had to wait. You till had the a next dry day. run. So the next day, same thing. Get up at five in the morning, butt naked. You know, you put your Freezing. clothes back on, and then you 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 bullshit With a breakfast sack lunch or whatever. Fucking whack ass breakfast, and then you go to uh that cell, and they give you yeah, the you get your tank. lunch. You get those people that are asking for cookies. Oh, I'll trade you the cookies. traders, the traders. <laughs> oh yeah, like, hey, uh, give me your sandwich and I'll give you a cookie. Or give yeah. me a cookie. <laughs> or they're like, oh, I'll give you my carrots if you give me the milk. I'm like, oh, yeah. So that time they did call me up and I got out. Nice. So uh, the judge released you. 
Yeah, so I mean, I had least. I had my own troubles, but you know, I I'm I'm thankful. You know, I had yeah. my own troubles, and I was able to take care of it. It you know, was that was a it. Learning experience, you know. You, yeah, obviously um, you weren't comfortable there, so right, you're like, right. I don't want to come back. Yeah, so I mean, that's the experience I had. But I mean, as far yeah. as what you went, I mean, um, yeah, I was there for for I think so. I got busted in 2009. I caught that case. I ended up going straight to the modules in Theo Lacey. So they sent with a with a million dollar bail, you know. So they're like, "Wow, you're 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 going to to the maximum, you know. You're not you're a million dollar bail. You're going to 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 that area, you know. We're gonna keep an eye on you, you know. You're not gonna and, run and, around." Um, like what was this for though? Like what was the so, reason? So the reason that I got arrested was I had um I had some money that I lent out. Okay. And, uh, you know, the guy that I lent the money to didn't want to pay me. You know, he was ducking and dodging me. Let's say he was just ducking and dodging uh, me. Shit. Yeah. So I was like, bro, like, I'm. you came to me. You know, you came to borrow borrow this from me. You know, I'm looking out for you. I'm, I'm trying to help you out, obviously. Yeah. And you want to try to burn me? Like, that's that's not cool in anybody's books. You nah, know? That's dude. just not what a man does, you know. And And at that age, you know, I was, like I said, we were... Just got in the fucking recession. We weren't working, you know. We might have worked one or two days a week, but bills can't get paid with working one or two days a week. So you know? he tried. He thought he could pull a fast. He one thought on he me. could be slick. Yeah. And I thought I could be slicker. So one day, you know, I had I had some 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 drinks, you know, and I was actually driving back home. <clears throat> this fucked up, but my it was, my mom was driving me back back home, you know, pick to pick me up from a. Uh, from one of my one of my cousins' house, were working, and I had had a couple of beers, so I seen him, and I was talking to my mom, cool, you know, whatever. We're, we're getting home, and I seen him, and I didn't, I didn't say nothing, you know. And as soon as I got home, I I jumped on the bike, and I I you know I headed over there, and I was like, all right, you you're not gonna pay me, you're not gonna pay me now, you know. And he's like, oh yeah, let's let's walk to the ATM, and then let's go. So his friends called the the cops, you know, like guys getting robbed or whatever they yeah. pull up on us the, the pd pulls up on us because obviously we were walking to the yeah to the atm you know so they pull up and this guy played the victim you know oh my god and da, 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 and i'm like dude what the fuck you know like it's it's nothing you know right and and they you know they they cuffed me up and threw me in jail and next thing you know i'm million dollar bail like it's it's crazy. What, so you didn't even uh, pull an, a weapon on him? Or well, I had, I had a weapon on me. You know what I mean? Oh, so that was the reason. So, so that they, they kind of like assumed that like you were going to yeah. you're going to do attempted murder or, or something. something like you know, uh, you it was like premeditated. Shit. Yeah, something like that. But you never actually attacked the person no, with a weapon. I was, was going to get my you just you just try to intimidate the person. I told right? him, look, bro, this is the next step. Right, you know what I mean. You ducking and dodging I mean, I mean, me. It, like, come on, what do you what do you expect at that point? You know, I'm gonna hit you. You know what I mean? Whatever. Right. I mean, like it's only natural. I mean, I'm not saying it's the right thing to it do, but wasn't. it's like, you know, like you give somebody your trust, and then right. they they you know break that trust. It's like you know, as a human, you know, you can you gotta walk you can, away. You can get irritated. I mean, yeah. the hardest thing. That's what I'm trying to say. Is the hardest thing to do is to get to walk away right right um and and you know sometimes walking away can get you out of going to jail getting killed for sure you know there's people sure. that you know gotten killed going to jail they you know they you know go through all kinds of shit all because 50 bucks <laughs> 50 you know bucks I mean? or it's, you know whatever it is you know yeah. like you have this ego yep. where or you know you think you're fucking uh, unstoppable to yeah. you know and you're not gonna um, let them get away with it, kind of thing. Like not, not on my watch. Yeah, I mean, I'm when I was younger, man. I mean, I have to admit, um, I used to, you know, go out to the bars, drive everywhere, bro. Uh, one time, I we went out, and we we were out like in Santa Ana. What was that one place? That funk place, uh, right down Fourth Street on um on Fourth. Yeah, right there on Fourth Street, uh, Broadway. Mikes. Yeah, OG Mike's. OG Mikes. So we went to OG Mike's, right? A long time ago, bro. A long time ago. Went to OG Mike's. 
Back when it was still open, I think they shut it down. Didn't uh, it? I don't know, um, man. If it's shut down, well, yeah, then it is a long there. time ago. <laughs> but uh, we went to that uh, that bar, and um, we yeah yeah go ahead. Uh, so we went to that bar, and uh, we were having a good time. It was already two in the morning. I was with six of my buddies, oh. and then one of my friends you had a carload full of people, huh? No, we just all met up there. Um, so I was with probably three of my buddies and then we met up with other buddies there. Um, so one of our buddies was like, let's go to TJ after it closed. At two in the morning. Yeah, bro. And, and I was like, nah, I'm good. Three other guys went. What I heard the next day, bro, they fucking hit a center divider before getting to TJ. On the way down there. Yeah. My buddy, the guy who gave me, uh, the Egyptian, uh, yeah. Okay. The, that the that was one of the buddies, the guy that gave me the Egyptian wow. uh, uh, Pharaoh. You know, um, he was the one driving, and uh, the doctors told him he's lucky he's not dead. Wow. So they all survived. They all survived. Yeah, but wow. they hit a center divider. Um, I could have been there, and maybe I was the one that could have died. Maybe you know some shit like yeah. that, and. Uh, yeah, dude. I mean, shit like that, bro. You, so you had a fresh. feeling, yeah, of not to go. You're like, nah, we're too, we're drinking already, or or well, whatever. It, it, well, the way I too saw far. it is like, I, I'm too fucked up. I already had a good time. I'm ready. Why I'm push done. it? Why push it? That's smart. Yeah, and uh, they were trying to keep going. They were trying to go to TJ. You know, hit up that. Yeah, the, of course. What was it? The fucking. What are the they, strip clubs? The strip Kawila. clubs over there and shit? Like, you know, because they closed fucking, what, to 8 in the morning? I, I don't think they closed. They never closed? I've never been there. I'm saying <laughs> they never closed. <laughs> and, uh, I, you know, I was glad I never went, you know? Yeah. But shit like that, you know, it's like, fuck. Yeah, I know. It's, it's like sometimes you get that gut feeling, you know, where you don't. And, and you know, I've, I've had people who have told us like a similar story to where it's like, hey, uh. I didn't get picked up and I was supposed to be in that car and all uh, shit went down and, and I'm glad I didn't go kind of thing. You know, that was like, um, like, like, you know, it happens to, to anybody. Yeah. It's, but when you're the one that, that was supposed to go and didn't go, you kind of see like, okay, I kind of have a, uh, not a sixth sense, but like, I should trust that side more. When I get that feeling, be aware of what's really going on. You right, know? Don't right, ignore right. it. Yeah. I mean, sometimes your conscience is talking to you and, and people ignore it, you know, just like you're saying. Um, but as far as like uh, jail, I mean, um, did you ever witness or did you hear about people dying or getting stabbed? Yeah. Like shit like that. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, that's that's part of of. You know, you see anybody jam. like in front of you? I had a friend who actually saw somebody in front of them. Um, I don't know what they did, but he was right there hanging out. All of a sudden, you know, people approach him. They stab him in the neck three, four times. You know, done so. It's it's, it's uh, I like, mean, like you say, just business as usual, you know, you think it has to do a lot with uh, breaking the rules and, and you know, like. Your promises. Nobody does anything to you. Nobody does anything to you because you're you're doing the right things. You know, you obviously got to be fucking up. I remember when I when uh, I would hear like when I was a kid and and they would be like, oh, que metieron a la cárcel a tu tío fulano. And then I'd be like, que hizo? And my dad would be like, pues no creo que fue a la iglesia. You know, like uh, obviously dude. he did some shit, you know. Obviously, no creo que por andar cantando en la iglesia. That, that, that right there just just says it right there. I mean, like, like, what do you think he did? You know, right? Like, what, 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 <laughs> what does it matter that he went there? Right, he's there. Yeah, he's like. So it's like, oh, okay, okay, he got whatever it is that he got. But it's like, <laughs> oh shit, obviously he wasn't doing something good. You don't do something good and end up in county jail. Like, yeah, you're obviously doing something. Thing I mean, you illegal. know what? There can be those people who, For sure. you know, they because I mean, I trip out on those people that they go to prison and all of a sudden, you know, they, they were accused wrong, bro. And they were That's there for like up. 20 years. I mean, they still get paid, you know, but still, dude, like, gonna come give you that on, time bro. back. Yeah, man. Especially if you don't have a wife or anything or like even if you had a girlfriend at the time, she probably she's gonna, your ass. she's gonna leave. 
So you come um, back to nothing, bro. Like, I mean, it's when you're in jail, you don't have. Well, I mean, at least in my experience, you don't have a girlfriend. You don't have a wife. You don't really have nothing. You know, you have what you have to survive because it's a totally different world. It's like literally you're you could damn near be a million miles away because you're that separated from society. You know, and somebody told me that like my first time and it was like out of sight, out of mind. That little girlfriend that you got that comes through. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's going to be coming through and, you know, visiting and the letters and all of that. But come on, dog, like you're not with her. You're not out there. You're not going anywhere. And she is and she can go wherever she wants. And I was like out of sight. You can't you can't stop her. There, there, there is nothing you can do about that, um, and and you know what? I only went to jail like five five days. It wasn't that long, but so that, you know that's reasonable. Somebody can wait. I, I had five yeah days, yeah, a but, month, six but months, I mean, I, a year. I mean, mm-hmm. like you know what? I never went to jail, so I'm gonna I'm gonna sound like you know like fucking rookie or <laughs> pussy or whatever. But I mean, at the time, I was fucking young. I never went to jail, and I was already thinking my girlfriend's gonna cheat on For me. Sure. Because like yeah, I was supposed to get and... ninety days. Oh, okay. Um, but my mom paid for a lawyer, um, way before this. But you know the lawyer was already connected his to job. the case, Good. so we paid for the lawyer. No matter what happens, still connected to the case. Right. So the case never ended. You know. Wow. It still opened up. Um. And the I remember the lawyer talking to the judge, and yeah, I was only there five days, but I was supposed to be there ninety days. So they were just they just get like a and plea not, bargain. Yeah, but it's not a year or anything. But I was already thinking like, yeah, you know, I love this girl. Um, it's over. And she's it's gonna a cheat rap. on me. She's yeah. gonna yeah, you I'm know, it's a wrap. That's and, what, that's what I know, thought. And and nobody uh, likes guys with felonies. You know, <laughs> dude. It, it, honestly, um, it took me about ten years to get a good job. Wow. Yeah, the felony um that just stays on screwed there. me over. It screwed me over. It was a stupid mistake I made when I was about 17 years old. Um and it's the only thing I got on my record. Um you can uh sponge it. Yeah, I mean now it doesn't show or anything, but even even nowadays somebody tries to check my record. I mean I've been I've been, you know, I've been good, you know. I've been right. not shit. I mean, look at me. I paroled from prison in 2014. So when I th- I even had that thought about getting the license uh, for the for the for the state, it was like, yo, you gotta wait, you gotta wait x amount of years before we even consider you. You just got out the fucking the pin, you know, or or, or whatever, you know. You're the worst of the the worst in our eyes. Why yeah. should why should we trust you with the with the license? You know you coming off a second DUI, you know, like obviously there's an issue there, you know? So it was like, okay, let me wait the time. Let me do what I got to do. And, and just, you know, not be just another statistic, you know, actually beat the, 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 the chances. Yeah. So I waited the seven years, took the test, passed the test. And they were like, well, so you got a, a record. What happened? I shot him the paperwork. You're good. Congratulations. Yeah, you beat all the odds. I mean, <clears throat> as far as what I know, I mean, my experience, I mean, you know, I, I was on probation. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a trap. I made my, it is a trap. Uh, you know, for all you guys listening out there, um, if you get, ever get in trouble with the law, you know, probation, stuff like that. If you don't do what you're supposed to do, it's going to get a lot worse for you. You're going to jail. Um, <laughs> and right after that, it'll get to a point where you don't care anymore and you're going to go down a rough road. Um, but yep. as hard as it sounds sometimes, I mean, you is you comply with their bullshit, fucking get it done with. For a year, and, or two years, whatever it is. Yeah, I mean, like for me, the first time... Um, I only had to do three months, bro. Oh, okay. Um, but that was enough for you to be what, like, oh, but I, shit. let's just put it this way. I failed. I failed. You violated. 
I violated something. Um, so now they put me three years. Wow. And then I had to do three years and, and pay like twenty five hundred dollars, wow. whatever it was. But I did it. I you did it. it. Um, and I was and able it wasn't to get easy. A good, no, it wasn't easy. Um, a lot of it was uh, I stopped talking to a lot of friends. Well, uh, I mean, if they're on probation, and then too? My, my well, I mean, at the same time, you know. My kid was born, and, oh, okay. and the priorities changed. And For sure. I mean, dude, I got friends that are either homeless or dead. I mean, that could have been me, right? Right. Like, if you would have kept that that route. Yeah, and, and and the biggest thing is, you know, my kid being born is 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 a big uh, blessing. It's a big blessing, definitely. Um, and it, I believe, you know, it really changed the course of like you know my life. life yeah for, for the sure. good i mean yeah. you became a father like now it's just not just you it's like another human being that you have to yeah i mean it's just like with you i mean you're saying that you know you you started your you started your own company yeah. and you know you're you said your second kid my third kid third kid during covid during covid Dude, no that, that's just no crazy, secure bro. job because because the contractor was like i'm taking a week off i'm taking another week i'm like do it take all the time you want, but yeah. I can't. I I gotta work. Right. And he would always be like, he was an older older guy, you know. Why you work so much? I'm like, dude, you're paying me by 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 the by piece, you know. You're paying me for what I do. Yeah. I'm gonna work from sun up to sundown, and then go take you know a day or two off, and and not be here tomorrow, you know. Ah, you gotta you know take it easy and this and that. I'm like, I was so ambitious. Like, I wasn't making enough money for what i did that i felt i just needed to produce yeah. more and i'm like well why am i doing it for this guy that doesn't even appreciate what i'm doing for him and i can go and do it for myself right so i i looked into the licensing i'm like okay i gotta wait till uh, the seven years or whatever are 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 up so i can apply for the license if so not. what do you mean by seven years so there's a seven year wait when you're a felon in order oh, to get I a see. license by the board of, of California. See, that's what I went through. When I got yeah, my wait. job, I had to wait about seven, eight years. Damn, bro. yeah. And you so th- you that applies to, to a lot of things. Then. Yeah, when it's like like government like that, because they really want to know, like, okay, it was seven years ago. Who are you now compared to what you yeah, were? Th- what's they, on paper? Yeah. You know, and on paper, that shit's not cool. You know, like right. that shit's just, you know, you're... Your history of alcohol, history of drugs, history of violence, history of, you know, not giving a fuck. So they're like, huh, <laughs> not just this. Pretty you much know? just any little thing, you know. Any and- little thing, bro. I violated multiple times, you know, because right. my lifestyle didn't didn't fit under their, uh, whatever, you know. Their, their, their qualifications. Qualifications yeah. and stuff like that. So it's like, it- okay, like. So what you want me to go and fucking be a, a agent like you or what the fuck? Like I gotta go work. I gotta get up at five in the right, morning. Right, you right, right. You know I gotta I gotta go and make it happen. Like I can't just sit around and wait for you to show up and search my shit and then leave. Like yeah, oh, like be, let's be reasonable. Yeah, but you're young. I'm like yeah, I'm young. So you should give me even more guidance instead of trying to fucking just you know lock me up. Right. And and I didn't see that, you know, up until I think um, they put me on the ankle bracelet. I had like a GPS because they okay. wanted to know exactly where you're at, at what yeah. time. And I'm like, dude, like, I'm just trying to work. I'm trying to, you know, help my family, like trying to stay out of jail, mm-hmm. you know, trying to trying to be productive. Right. And OK, we'll slap you with the GPS to make sure, you know, like nine um, months. So was your GPS? Because I heard of the new ones. You know, they they have like these like they cell phones, microphones and everything. Well, they fucking oh, sure. like call you, bro, and they're talking. Yeah, so so, so one was yours like was, that? Mine, mine used to talk. <laughs> so one day I'm How chilling. You doing? <laughs> it was something like that to where. So you know, obviously they tell you when they're gonna set you up with it. Like, okay, when it beeps once, you gotta charge it. When you beep twice, you gotta call me. Yeah, something like that. Okay, you know. So I'm like, whatever. <laughs> And I'm like, literally, I'm I'm doing construction, you know, I'm standing walls or whatever, moving, moving around lumber. Yeah. And uh, OK, I got to charge my shit every eight or 10 hours, whatever it is. Right, so there right, I am with right. a fucking 25 foot extension cord. 
you know, with the fucking thing taped onto my feet while I'm sanding, sanding down these walls and, and, and me hacen carrilla, you know, me Parece un gallito amarrado de los que tienen ahí en el rancho, you know, que no quieren que se, que se vayan a salir because I'm like charging my, my GPS or whatever, you know, yeah. and I did nine months of it and I hated, I hated it, you know, but I, I got on like a schedule, you know, okay, if, I, if I'm going to do anything, it's got to be before this time because by this time I already got to be inside and having issues with him thinking I'm leaving. He's like, you left for like four minutes. So they um, were on you like that. They were on me like flies on shit. Like wow, they, I was so I they, was they, young were, to them. So you think they were looking for just any little mistake for you to make? Or? For sure. Wow. They weren't cutting. They were, they weren't cutting me no slack at first. Yeah. They were like they were trying to show me who was the boss. You know, yeah. they, intimidation for them is like, it's like everything. You know, like they they can scare like you with trying to train you like a dog or something you know exactly. like a, that's like what a they're dog, trying to do you know? i mean literally to them that's what you are you move from cage to cage right right they right. talk when they're supposed to talk and don't be barking yeah you barking you're gonna get your ass kicked you know what i mean and i seen yeah, it yeah. firsthand to where you think you're slick and and the cop is fucking serious and you think it's fucking nauseous and giggles because you're don't give a fuck you know so they they see that shit and they're gonna you know, and it's just not one of them, you know, right, they're right. Gonna, they're going to tell their friends, you know, like they're going <laughs> to come through and you're going to you're not going to want to do that again. Yeah. They're going to let you know who is who is in charge. But in reality, like they're they're not, you know, they just they just work there in a way, you know, yeah. like jail is jail. You know, like it's it's always going to be that they said there's like a saying, uh, aunque las rejas sean de oro, no deja de ser cárcel. Like it might you might have the flat screen in that motherfucker, but it's still jail you know you're still confined to, yeah to, to society you know more than anything you know i don't know how it is now i heard like now they got tablets and shit like that like i don't know i mean like you always hear like you know they, they sneak in stuff cell phones oh, for sure I mean, oh that so i mean smartphones tablets i, the, I mean the but a tablet i mean 2013 we were on the on the FaceTime, you know, calling, you know, the family, like, hey, but you, I'm good, you know? So, so with that, I mean, you have to, you obviously have to pay for that, right? It, yeah, for sure, you got to pay. Um, You got to pay. Is that like a service that somebody <laughs> somebody provides? It's like a, or, or you actually, it's they, like when, they uh, loan you the phone? So or there's, there's everything, you know? You can come across it to where there's there's availability for you to buy one. Oh, or I see. Or there's availability for you to just rent one. Or there's availability oh, for shit. you to just make a two-minute phone call, you know, and, and whatever. Oh, like, so they, it's like a pay phone or some shit like that, it's, right? It's like fucking, yeah, like like uh, wh whoever is in control of the, the thing, you know, the clap is yeah. is the one who's who's making the moves. Um, Cause that's communication. I mean, I don't know if this is true, but I saw, like, uh, on, I think one of the... Joe Rogan videos that uh, the toilet paper is it true that they give that to like the people in charge and you have to earn <laughs> that shit? <laughs> is that I shit true? I've never heard about some shit like that. Okay, I mean, toilet paper is or is, is that shit just paper. available? I mean, legally they gotta they got I heard they they they, they, they when, disperse it and some people don't get it if they don't earn it. I think it's <laughs> bit of, I think it's muy cagón. I think no estamos a dar. But, you know, it's like, it's like, okay, like you already, they already strip you down to nothing. Yeah. What more can they take from you? Right. If you don't give me toilet paper, I'm going to shit on the door handle. Like, no, mama, so it's it, like, it's they, better. It's it's like, there's got to be, there's got to be a there's medium gotta be, to be. Yeah. They I don't want to clean up shit. They don't want to see shit. They don't want, you know? Right, right. Hey, that's like something that you keep that shit, you know, to your... To yourself, yeah. I mean, that, like I'm sure you know. The they, less they have to clean, the better, right? For sure, they don't <laughs> clean it. You know, they're gonna have somebody else do right, it. But still, right, they don't right. want to, you know, see it. So it's like it. That's like one of those things where it's like, you gotta take a shit. You gotta take a shit, right? You're not gonna see who's looking, who's not. Well, I gotta take a shit. I'm gonna take a shit. But no, it's, I, it's I, my time to go. You know, you you go after me. You know, like the, well, I mean, then people understand. I mean, it's fucking. It's almost like if you're farting, like. Come on, man! It's natural, right? Yeah, just don't, like, don't be bringing that shit around my my <laughs> bunk. You know, that's like going over there. 
No, you're sometimes sleeping. sometimes it could be disrespectful. For sure. A hundred percent. But sometimes you know? it's like fuck, you know, it just went out. What, you know? what do you want me to do? I'm <laughs> wearing a fucking bus. But other times you you know you ate something that yeah. is not hitting you. You all, right. ate, you all ate the same <laughs> shit, you know? So you know you know you need to walk out and fucking For sure. yeah. yeah, no, you show you show courtesy, you know, and that's where I learned stuff like that. Like there's a time and a place for everything. You yeah. Know? If I'm with a group of individuals and we're chopping it up and and I don't know them like that, too, you know, I got to take a pinch of pedo. I'll go and I'll air it out somewhere else, you know? Right, right. Last thing I want to do is air it out right here. Fucking be a dirt bag, you know? Yeah, it might be a shits and giggles, but somebody might not like that shit. Yeah. And then you're in, you know... Especially you gotta, when you're in jail or prison, right? You don't know who or who you're, you're next to, you know? You I know? mean, either that or you don't know how they grew up, man. For sure. Everybody's got their um, own... You know, there's... Story. All kinds of stories out there. I mean, I mean, I heard there's stories about, you know, kids, you know, that, you know, they've been, you know, treated badly by their parents, sure. even made them eat like, you know, dried shit yeah, from dogs, weird. stuff like that. You know, that's fucked it, up when they when they got kids, you know, going through that shit, you know, when people put kids through shit like that, you know. Like, yeah, I mean, you know, like even back tough. then, like there was punishments. You know, there's always been punishments, you know, that have been really bad. But there's some out there that are just like, did it really have to go that far? You yeah, know, and was it that serious? You know, like you sometimes know? it justifies, yeah, you brutal, know, but other times it's like now on. you're trying to get, you know, some kind of, you know, yeah, now you're doing satisfaction. It for yeah, right. Yeah, now you're doing it for pleasure. <laughs> that's weird. You know, like that's not how it's supposed to be. You know, that's why there's there's whatever there's laws that. You got to abide by it in yeah. order to live in that society. You right, know? If right. you don't like it, you don't live in that society, you know? Yeah. It's 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 like a happy medium, you know? Ni mucho, ni poquito, you know? Like, keep it, keep it I guess, respectful. I don't know. It's, it's, it's yeah, and, and um, like, how long were you, were you in jail for, though? Um, So, from, a little, probably since I was 18, bro, to 24. In and out, you know. Oh, in and catch out. a case, do a violation, you know. In and out, a year, eight months, a yeah. year, two years. Like it, it was like phases, you know. I felt like a right. revolving door, you know, like where it's just, you know, you're you're out there and running amok. Like you're gonna get into some shit, you know. Right, right, right. And you're in 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 jail, you know. Like you're you're in jail, you know. You're surviving. You're doing whatever you gotta do to. Yeah, so did you, um, because, like, for me personally, like, I mean, I talked about, you know, I went to jail only four days, you know, I, I had probation. I felt like, you know, I, you know, just had the wrong friends, you know. Um, that, did you feel like that, that you just got with the wrong crowd or was it something that, you know, you personally, you know, got yourself into that trouble? For sure, when you're playing the game, you're, it's like, you know, don't 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 be surprised when you get caught up, you know. Yeah. If you're doing illegal stuff, then you're going to eventually if you're not good at it, you know, obviously I wasn't good at it. You know? Right, but right, right. You're going to get caught up. You're going to get caught slipping. You next thing you know, people are pointing you out. People know you because, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's not a, like, a, you know, people are going to know you for whatever reason. But, oh, well, yeah. that guy, it was that motherfucker or whatever, you know, and you're going to you're going to get put on on. Uh, you know, on on a file, you know, to where they're like, oh, keep an eye on this guy, you know? Yeah. Shit like that, which is normal, you know, to them, you know, they're going to they're going to do their job. So it's, you know, you got to kind of do your job, you mm -hmm. know, try to stay, stay low key. Don't get caught up, you know, don't be doing illegal shit to don't, you know, right. To don't don't fall in that, that game, you know? Right. And and that helped me, you know, the. Uh, working like i said the work ethic the construction the challenging myself you know the all of that you know learning about the business how to start a business how to run a business like that yeah. shit's kept me so like on it because it's like a different type of pressure you know yeah and, and you know it's it's gotta be exciting because you know a lot of people you know Back then, a lot of people would start their own business. You know, people still yeah. do it, but now it's it's more difficult, you know, to start their own business. Or they see it as, you know, something that, you know, can be, you know, can take more than one person to do. 
for sure. Um, but I remember, you know, we had a conversation before we started the podcast and uh, you said, you know, you know, you can talk to people about doing a business. They could be all interested, but sometimes you have to be the one to do it because right. all those people can talk about it, but they're not willing to put the money put or the time. Action. They yep. just want to see it happen. Yeah. But if you really believe, you know, you, you're you going to figure the, it away. Yeah. It. And, and, you know, like it's beautiful. The, the fact that, you know, you used all the knowledge that you have. And I always believe, you know, knowledge is power. Knowledge is power because um, it takes you a long way. Um, it's something that's always made us they evolve. They can't take it from you. I mean, this is the reason why we are where we are today is because yep. the knowledge has taken us to a different level. Yep. Um, and, you know, many aspects. For sure. Um but as far as your company, I mean, you told me you you got somebody to do your logo. Um, what is the company's name? So the company's name is CCC Builders. Triple C. Triple C. Okay. Triple C Builders is going to be the brand, you know? So you think okay. of Triple A, think of Triple C. <laughs> think about us like that. We're a household name, you know? <laughs> we want to roll it off the tongue like that simple. Triple C. Oh, the Triple C guys are over there building a house, making a lot of noise making a lot of dust, but they're making the neighborhood look great. You know, like, yeah, everything, not everything is just, you know, beautiful. It, to get something beautiful, it's got to go through processes. Yeah. You know, it, it's like art, you know, it's at first you see, you're like, what's, what's going on? And then six months later, you know, you got this house or you got this building or uh, a bridge or whatever it is that you're building, you know, that you'll be like, oh, that's what they were doing. It looks, it looks good. You know, it's functional. It's, you know, I want one. Right, know? right, right. You know, you want that's that's where I think um I get the joy to do stuff like that. You know, that people be like, Oh, that's dope. So when you look at a painting, you're like, damn, that's dope. You know, like whoever did that must have been, you know, very inspired and you know, probably was feeling good, drawing some nice stuff. Like it's it's like it speaks for itself. Yeah. And that's rewarding, you know. Okay. So we do like all kinds of uh different projects you know so how long uh, has the company been going i mean since uh so two years 2021 this would be a second year like, okay. like we're getting close to like that the second year mark and man it's been a journey bro two years and i can't believe it like i've learned so much in these two years that it's like wow you know like so when you're saying you're learning a lot i mean is that with like the business aspect or the actual or everything myself everything which which do you have like uh do you have your team or i got a team i got i got guys that you know that do from one thing to another thing and you know if i can't do it i'll have somebody else do it like i'm not so you networked i network i invite you know i i meet people uh, right the the line at the grocery store chopping (laughs) it up like I it's out there. Yeah. Why? Like if I'm already crowded with 10 uh, or a hundred thousand people in one city, like somebody has got to know to do something, you know what I mean? And I yeah. can do some stuff, you know, if you need me, I'm available, you know, right. like, like I think that's how it works. You know, like you come together, like nothing is built by one guy in the garage, no. you know, trying to do it. Like it's like networking, you know, reaching out communication and even that I've learned, you know, I was like, ah, maybe I shouldn't hit him up. Maybe he's, it's just, fuck it, text him. Hey, what's up? You know, like something simple, you know, that goes a long way. Yeah. I mean, as far as like when you hit somebody up, you just hit somebody up that you see or, or some or you get a reference from someone. A lot of them for this only our second year. So most of it is like word of mouth. We started off you spread the word. Yeah. We started off advertising. Yeah. So we threw some bait out there, I guess you could say, you know, hey, we're a new company. We do this. What do you need? Yeah. And we, you know, they a bit, you know, so we got on and, and we did one thing and they liked it. Do another one and do another one and do another one. And we have like our very, very like we're blessed to have these clients that just keep us so busy to where we're like, yes, yes, we'll do it. You know, <laughs> like uh, just being really, really humble, you know, just. 
you whatever know, you know it. and also not only that i mean you're proving yourself you exactly know? that's and, and you never know that person gets a job done by you and next thing you know they talk to other people for sure and you get a call from they someone and they're like hey it's like when you I have heard, a good experience yeah i mean know? one thing my dad told me uh, from when i was working with him is like a good worker is always going to have work for a sure. bad worker is you always going to be out there yep. asking for work. And, and and you know what? <laughs> I used to think I was a bad worker because I would never get the call, you know? But there was really no work. And then I'd be like, what am I doing wrong? Maybe I'm slacking. Maybe I'm I'm being hard-headed. Yeah. That's why I don't have work. Right. Or maybe I this day I thought I, I slacked a little bit and the boss didn't like that. And he's like, fuck it, don't come tomorrow. You know, like. It was like that. So I'm like, oh, shit. I and can't sometimes be that. it can be like that, dude. For sure. I mean, there's cases like that where, you know, any little thing, you know, and you're out. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> so as you were talking about um, your company, um, would you say that you guys have been, you know, expanding quickly or is it slowly as far as the business? Like, are, I mean, in the beginning... You guys think that you guys were, you know, getting jobs here and there and then finally getting clients or were there yep. jobs where you, they just came and they went? So when I when I when they told me you pass a test, you your licensed contractor, you know, prove prove your bond and your insurance and OK, your, your free game. I was like, now what? You know, I work <laughs> I work all this for for. To be here and now what? You know, who who do I go to now? Yeah. And I didn't have like anybody, you know, to go to. The guy that I was working for at the time, um, actually prior to me actually uh getting the license, I told him, Hey, you know, I'm thinking about getting my license and whoopie whoop. And he's like, Oh yeah, that sounds good. How about you do it in a year? And I'm like, Why a year? He goes, That way you can help me out this year. I got a lot of work. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, but I really want to do it. And and what do you think? He's like, yeah, no, yeah, I think you can do it. But wait a year. Work for me one year. You know, I'll make sure to take care of you. And you're going to learn and, and this and that. And, and then in a year, you know, you'll get your license. So I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to lock it in with him. You know, I'm going I'm to help him out. Do do these, uh, these, these, we're doing like patio covers and pergolas. And I, I really learned some really good techniques from this guy, you know. So shout out to him. And um, the only thing was when I decided to do my 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 own company, you know, my own way, he didn't like it. He was like, no. You saw it more as, as a threat or something? For sure. Hey, don't be doing what I be doing, this and that. I'm like, bro, like, it's not like you're inventing the fucking art of carpentry, right, bro. Like, right, right, right. I'm going to learn it and I'm going to use it in my everyday life. Like, you can't take that from me. You know, you're paying me to do it. So I'm doing it regardless whether I take it with me or not. Like, that's 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 not even relevant, you know? Right. So when um, I asked him to sign my, my papers for the state, you know, he didn't want to. He fucking just beat around the bush. So when when you're saying uh, he had to sign your papers, for yeah, the like kind of like like to verify that I've been working with the, with a contractor did, before. Did this have to do with your actual license? Yeah, so they they ask you for something like that, and I had people to ask, but since I was working for him, so as a reference or kind of like yeah, like a like a verification, like yeah, I oh that you're actually I've worked with him for you X have experience of time. Exactly. and all that hands okay. on and got he's it, a contractor, got it. he's an engineer, he's, right, you right. Know, he's He's that guy, you know, so I was like, hey, I'm going to give him the the that courtesy. You know, I work for him. Right. You know, he's been keeping me busy and I appreciate all of that. So I asked him to do me that favor and he he didn't even return the slip to me, you know, and I told him, you know what? It's all good. Like, it's whatever, you know. Yeah. Like, I'm out, you know. Yeah. Thank you. You know, thank you for your service, you know, and, <laughs> and, and uh, you know, God we, bless you. We had, yeah. You know, and, uh, you know, may the force be with you. But <laughs> I left and I, I never looked back, you know, like. I, I was. I was doing the most, you know, I was trying to prove myself to to these, you know, to these, I guess, contractors that, you know, that this this kid can play ball, you know, and and. I, I did it, you know, I'm yeah. I'm doing it, I guess. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm doing it and it, it feels good 
to to go from from having to go through that to be able to to be on on i guess on the on the better side of it you know like okay like this is what i was hoping to do and now i'm doing it like it feels good it feels really good yeah when i was doing it for somebody else yeah it's it's rewarding to you know to see the stuff you build but when you know that you did it you were out there um getting the job closing the deal you know Getting the check, like, yeah, it feels totally different. You, you know? did it all by yourself, you know. For you, sure, you did it from the, you know, from the ground up. Yeah. Um, well, it, I have, I've had help the whole time. I think the whole time I've had um, whether something simple or something big, but I've had help. Yeah, but I mean, along the way, you learn, you know, things from everyone, yeah, right? I keep learning. Um, would you say that you know, being humble takes a, a great, you know. Uh, part of you know building that business or it or it's more of the experience or how do you feel what, what do you think made you feel um like ready to do this like uh, was it the kids pushing you you know was it the humbleness yeah, I the think experience the pressure, the pressure of having to you know um take chances you know like that's never have never had that issue of of taking the chances, you know, I rolled the dice, you know, right, like right. it's, I've always been like that since whether it was one thing or another, like, so that was never an issue. Well, I never made the right decisions either, you know? So it's like, okay, I'm taking all, I'm making all these decisions, but they're not taking me anywhere. Like I got to change up the, 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 the process, strategy, the right? Strategy of like, okay, yeah. obviously A is not working. B isn't working. Mm-hmm let's try C and D and, and see how that goes. So, you know, learning from people's, you know, um, experiences also, I think helped a lot because, you know, sometimes you don't, you don't get the message people are trying to tell you or you interpret it in, a, in another way. Yeah. But when that shit hits you, it's like, Oh shit, this is, I, I can relate to that. You know, like maybe that was the answer I was looking for. For in, in a way you know like you know sometimes you manifest things like like um like like tell me it's real kind of thing and then something real happens and you're like oh shit like okay cool like, yeah or sometimes I, it's good too good to be true right too good to be true and that's when you end up in that trap and you think that you it's gonna be that simple every yeah, time yeah i mean it's there's not. there's many shortcuts out there and for sure some people can you know manage to make those shortcuts but sometimes you know you end up in prison you're yep. dead you know you lose uh your wife your yeah. family yep. i mean i don't know i mean there's many sure. things that can happen um but i did want to ask you um okay as far as you have your own business um you said you do have a team um how big is your team so we very like sometimes it's two two helpers sometimes it's three sometimes we got a cement crew and the painting crew and the drywall crew like it just depends on on what phase of the project we're at okay and, and we're we're a small company you know like we're we're very small like i like to say you know no more than a a, a handful of guys you know but um we we stay busy. We try to stay as busy and deliver good work. You yeah. Know, so people can call you back and and not have to worry about cars parked on the lawn and fucking piss bottles on the side <laughs> of the house. You know things that as a contractor you gotta deal with. You know. Right. I'm sure homeowners don't want. And this them. is your your baby, so you have to make sure. sure that the client's happy, right? No if matter not, what. They're not calling us back. Right. And, you have and, to look after everybody, make sure everything's for sure. Yeah. And in order for me to keep inviting these guys to come, you know, help us out and work, like if if it's not working out, I can't have them over there, and I can't. I have to do it myself. Or, yeah. Or whatever it is, so it's 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 tough, you know, to try to get a good game plan. Hey, we're gonna go in there. We're gonna do it like this. None of this. X. Don't do this you're okay with doing this. Like I got to lay down the rules and that's normal. That's like everything you do. Right. right. You know, so every job is different. Never, there's never, we never go into the same situation two times, which is cool, Mm -hmm. which is like, it's not like you're going to the same spot every day. It's like, it, it, it varies, you know, it's never a dull moment, I guess. And that's, that's, those are the perks of it. Yeah. You know, mentally, like you can, you know, 
little bit way more challenging, but still, still, you know, fun, fun to do. Yeah. Um. The other thing I wanted to ask. Um. I mean, out of my experience, um, uh, I did mention. You know, my dad has his own company, um, landscape company. Um, he did mention, you know, he's come across very few people that are, you you know, somebody that is like your number one person, you know, that to you go can to. trust. Yes. Because um, my dad, you know, he mentioned that he was able to have different job sites yeah. leave. And he had that one guy that took care of everything and it just gave him that peace of mind. For sure. And, and he trusts. And, and you know, that one guy that is that number one is eventually going to leave. For sure. Uh, and and he mentioned it many times. Um, he had actually like two, three people that worked for him that they were that Became good that one. they knew that they wanted to start their own company. And they do it. Because they they had it, they had that same spark, you know, that that same yeah. ambition. For sure. Because um, they knew it, they did it. It's those those workers that they don't want to just do their job. They want to learn everything. Right. The, and you gotta appreciate those people. And those people, you know, sometimes are going to be responsible for taking your business to the next level. For sure. Yeah. Of course. And, and that they're a reflection I mean, of you. And I'm sorry for, you know, no, dragging out the this question so long. But I mean, have you this come across, <laughs> have you come across a, a person like that, you know, that, that you can say they're, I mean, in Star Trek, you would say they're your number one, you know. Yeah, number one, you know, <laughs> your right uno, hand, yeah. you know. Pretty your, much your right hand, yeah. So I got a, I got a guy that that helps me out with this, uh, this project that we got going on, and he's he's number one at that job. Yeah, he's, he's taught me so many things, and you know, I, I like to say that I've taught him a couple of things too. You okay. know, to where we were like, we're we're trying to grow together. Yeah, and you know, shout out to him. Um, he's he's supposed to be uh. You know, studying because he's gonna be taking his contractor test. Because I tell him too, you know, like you gotta do it for yourself. I can do it. What makes you think you can't do it, my boy? Like you, you know so much. You know, like you've done the work for so long. Like you deserve, you deserve to get like the the certification. You know? And you know what? That's how it should be, right? I for mean, sure. a boss should only, you know, encourage like their workers to want to be better. Sure. Of course. Uh, I mean, the workers for eventually them, gonna get themselves. old, right? Right. Why not, you know, encourage them to become, you know, the best they can be before they get to that age? Yep. I mean, workers are going to come here, you know, oh, yeah. they're going to come in now. They're but, everywhere. Right. It, it, uh, one of my but if you can get, too. you know, like good workers and they're willing to learn, you know, and, and they do a good listen. job for you. I think it's it's a good thing. Sometimes you pick up the day labor at. Ahí en el 7-Eleven, ahí en la Home Depot, you know, te saca de un apuro, un, un chalán, or whatever, you know, a day labor that maybe he's not, he's not what you're looking for, but he was there, you know, you take yeah. him and next thing you know, you have a bad experience and you're like, fuck, I didn't even do what I was supposed to do because I have to teach this guy because I thought he was going to help or what, whatever the, the reason is that I don't just bring anybody. You know, I, I, I at least need to have a verification. Kind of like when you meet somebody, you know, you're not going to bring somebody over to your house that you don't know. Be like, hey, I know he's cool, but how cool is he? Like, right, right. How, what have, have you done some dirt with them? How did you grew up with him? Like, is this guy your best? Like, what? Like, not just like, oh, I met him at the bar and now we're fucking hanging out. And, you know, it's like, no, nah, like I need some verification. So I always, you know, like, what do you do? Oh, you do this? Oh, okay. What? Good to know, you know, because one day I'm going to need the tile guy or I'm going to need the plumber. I'm going to need like this. So I try to build a network of individuals who specialize in certain things. And Yeah, know, I mean, I mean, networking, I'm you not know, shy, you know, like it's. <laughs> but I mean, as far as a network, do you think you've uh, like working with your dad um, got you any connections or you got that on your own? It, that got me the the. I guess the the mentality, the worth ethic. I okay. think that got me the so worth you ethic. you got your your own uh basically workers on your own. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So okay, e everything was like a branch off because we're my my dad's a, a carpenter, you know, a framer. Yeah, yeah. So he specialized in that. Yeah, he knows to do a couple of different things, but he specialized in that. Like he's not doing, he's not doing something that's not that. So you branched out of that, right? 
I, I figured that there was so much more to learn. I didn't want to just frame walls all my life. You know, now I think about it like. And that's what the next generation is supposed to do, right? They're supposed to do everything. Right? Yeah. I mean, like beyond I, that, we were talking earlier and, and I told you, like, um, I tell my daughter every day, you know, I want her to be better than. than that's how you do I it. Want, I want my daughter to take the best of me, the best of her mom. And become better than us for sure uh, and keep the family going right for sure change that uh <laughs> generational curses that you know we've been plagued with dude like yeah i mean you know i used to think that too like that we've been cursed and everything but you know what like we have to look at the positive you for know sure. side of it because look how long we've come away you know yeah from from that to like just two generate one generation you can say yeah you know, like it's it's progress, you know, compared to how I know my parents grew up, your parents grew up, our grandparents, you know, I know my grandpa on my dad's side, you know, was a kid during the, the Mexican Revolution, you know, so he had a couple of stories of him being a kid, literally, you know, not even 10 years old and and having to deal with the uh, with with, the uh, you know, with the army or the, you know, the cristeros or whoever was involved in in the war you know and like damn like i kind of I, I didn't grow up like that so i can only imagine how how his life must have been you know what i mean and it's like there's there's a connection there you know like that's even him going through that puts me where i'm at now you know like if, if he didn't go through that i wouldn't have been here right kind of thing so it like it, it always um intrigues me to kind of like to understand what they went through so that i not that i don't go through it just that i'm prepared for it yeah you know kind of like looking out for it yeah i mean it's one of the things that you know i think i mentioned earlier um you know one of my earlier interviews with thomas um stories you know what's the reason you know what we're talking mm -hmm. right now um there's stories you can tell in people can learn from them you know sure. there, there's mistakes you make or you know rewards for sure and you know some, you never know you know those people are maybe going down that same route whether it's good or bad not even knowing you but and you know they it. hear somebody and there's they kind of hear similarities and they're like now they have an, a, a better idea of that's what they really want to do right. whether it's good or bad like that push you know that, yeah that uh, <clears throat> um that's why, you know, I, I enjoy, you know, hearing stories, whether they're successful or stories, you know, that made you stronger. You, know, you gotta you gotta take some L's, you know. Eventually you're gonna take those L's and you you can't just yeah, you can be like, fuck it, I took the L, it's in the past. Like, no, learn from it. Learn from your mistakes. You yeah. know, use your your mistakes as an example every day to be like, that's what I don't want. You know, I want to do it the, the right way. You know, I'm. I don't want to keep taking those L's. I'm trying to get some dubs. You yeah, know? the mindset is mm -hmm. is crucial, for sure. So, for the audience, um, do you have a website for your constru construction company? Um, is there any way that, um, anybody can reach out to you for any type of job, or is this something that's residential or commer or only commercial? So we do uh, both residential and commercial. It just really depends on on the project, you know, and the time frame that's available. I know a lot of people want things done now, mm -hmm. and when you're, you know, when you're tied up in another project, it's hard to just drop everything and and go. Yeah, you know, a lot of times I'm so busy in a in a in one project that I I got another project on standby. For whatever reason, you know, inspections or materials or whatever it is, and and people need to understand that I'm so busy focused on another job that when I get to your job, I'm gonna give it the same amount of time and dedication, you know, just like I do to the next one, you know, like I I don't just pick and choose which which jobs we do good, like we try to do them all, yeah, you know, accordingly, you know, and I think that's what makes us not stand out but at least people can can trust us and and give us that preference you know like let me call these guys before i call anybody else yeah you know because they they 
they figured out how to make me happy or yeah. make it work for me, you know? Which right. Is, which is really what we're, we're meant to do as, as a service company, you know? We're going to come. Yeah, and that. rightfully so, you know? I mean, I, th- I think that's what's only going to bring your business, you know, to the next level. For sure. Um, but as far as, you know, promotions and everything, is there a website? Yeah, so the website is CCC Builders. Okay. GC. GC. Like, uh, C like Charlie, 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 Charlie. Builders, uh, GC.com. And we also got the same Instagram page where we, we post a lot of, uh, you know, uh, recent projects, updates, a lot of before and after, I think. Okay. I think that's been um, part of like our... our our best, I guess you could say like a flex, you know, we can turn something into something way better or upgraded. Yeah. And you can see the difference, you know, a lot of times when you're just framing houses, you don't see that end result because you're just framing them and somebody else is doing everything else, the stucco, the drywall, the plumbing, the electrical. And when you can kind of do an addition and do a couple of different trades, like, you're there through the process, final process, inspections, and, and you know, turnkey properties, and that's that's very rewarding. Okay. Yeah. Um. And once again, you know, for the audience, what is the name of the company? CCC Builders. CCC so Builders. It feels around. Maybe we'll post up a, a, a logo. You know. Um. And is this London. only in uh, Southern California or? So it's the whole state of California. We can work in the whole state of California, but obviously we're in, we're local. We're in Orange County. Okay. Um, We have done a couple of jobs out of the county, but we've been blessed to stay like Costa Mesa, Santana, you know, Tustin, Orange. Like we've been, like I said, blessed to be able to stay in this area, you know, in our own communities a lot of the times. Um. You know, driving around, seeing seeing the neighbors on my way to work. You know, like it's 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 great. I love it. All right, um, Edwin, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. Lance. And once again, everyone, um, check him out. Uh, he is a great worker. 